there. Welcome back to, well, Lucy, the eternity she wished for. Where we have this guy standing right in front of us. I actually don't know the reason why. It's clear that he's holding back his temper. Next thing I know, my father has thrown something in my face. The sheet of paper fl flutters into the ground. This big. I pick it up. It's the results for my mock exam I'd taken a while back. It took him this long to figure it the hell out? <laughs> well, screw you too. <laughs> Explain yourself. No, I don't wanna. I vaccinated you. How'd you manage to bring home this uh, atrocious smart? Because you're an asshole. <laughs> Do I need to explain? My grades had plummeted quite considerably. The, wait, were you studying? Were you not studying? I would explain it. Saying how I've always done in school, these results were bordering on the impossible. It was very strange. It felt like pretty kind of conflicted while writing the exam. Done exams in fuck how long? <laughs> I don't even remember. That's how long it's been. <laughs> there was no way my grades would be this horrible. After checking each and every corner of the res report, I finally realized. Crap. Some of the test, some of the test questions, and my answers were off the line. Off one line. The pattern of corrections matched my answers. Okay, that makes sense then. <laughs> Being off that one line would actually make sense. The pattern of. Yeah. It was a fatal mistake, but what does the. What was done was done. I'd been thinking about a lot of things, uh, and my mind was a mess back then. I had scrambled, scribbled all over the test without checking it over. I tried to explain to my father, but he ain't gonna listen. I was careless and put my answers on the wrong lines. You honestly think you can fool me with such a feeble lie? Why don't you actually check it yourself, old geezer? It's like right here. You had it in your hand. <laughs> I'm not lying. I really did make a mistake. I was having a hard time considering on the test. That's right. Well, look at him. He didn't even freaking look at it. He just went, <gasps> he failed, and then just immediately got pissed. Like, what the hell? At the moment, I felt a sudden surge of anger. I didn't know why I was exploding this, explaining this to him in the first place. I tell him the following uh, sounding annoyed. It was just a mock exam, so it doesn't really matter, right? It's for practice anyway. I just need to do well on the real thing. It makes sense. <laughs> you have the audacity to say me that? 
It doesn't matter how a showing these results. It's a mock exam. <laughs> do you honestly explain? Expect me to believe that you do that you do well on the real exam. And if I prove if I prove myself right. I wasn't like this when I was your age. Yeah, and I'm not like you, you old geezer. What else? Pick fights and sh fights will happen. <laughs> I, I have never seen... I have never once brought home my grade as far as this. Yeah, and I'm not you. Fuck you. Yes, I'm willing to pick fights. He started. <laughs> it can't be helped. I'm not you, after all. But you should be me. <laughs> yeah, right? Finally, he sees. <laughs> it appears that you don't fail and if it doesn't to me. Exactly. That never would have happened if you were like me. Okay. And you want me to do better? Why? <laughs> if you were like me, you wouldn't have turned in. Turns out, science player. Yeah. yeah. And you would have been a better father. <laughs> You seem to have taken after your mother. Nothing good about her, that is. And that's why he's a that's why he's a crap father. <laughs> hey, I'm willing to throw crap. <laughs> Don't judge me on that. I'm willing to throw crap if necessary. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Dare he? What if with a crack something inside with a crack something inside me snaps? You're you're always like this. You're always being so stubborn and judging people by your own selfish standards. What's so great about you, huh? And this is where they start fighting fire with fire, and nothing ever gets well. <laughs> I am just... I... I just now supposed to watch my son become a failure in life then? Whatever happens, this has nothing to do with you. And this is why I will, uh, jump out the closest window. <laughs> you never once taking good care of me anyway. Aren't you, oh, aren't you only th talking about yourself all the time? Ah, fuck. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. What kind of nonsense are you talking about? Even if you never decide to bring it up, I'm o I'm going to take care of you for the rest of your life. So you can rest assured because even a person like you is still my father. I'll be sure to repay my gratitude for you. For raising me. Even if I move out of this place, I'll make sure to send you money every month. I have a... Doesn't help by making it sarcastic. I'll make sure that you'll be pleasant... Pleasant... You'll live a pleasant life. Then... That settled, settled, right? No objections? 
exchange, once I find a job, don't, don't even think about talking to me ever again. Don't even think about seeing my face ever again. What is your mind? And there was a slap. Sounded more like a clap on my end. <laughs> I was slapped on in the face. A light flash, a flash before my eyes, before I could even feel the pain. And then I realized I'm blind. <laughs> My pounding heart feels like it's crashing inside. In my crumpled state, I look up. Without losing any strength in my gaze, I glare at my father. It was at that moment. Lucy into the room. I damn it. <laughs> After looking around, wondering what happened, she jumps in shock as she spots me. Questioning what the fuck happened? I tell her to sit still and walk away. <laughs> she approaches me and helps me up. Uh, nothing important. Nothing at all. Okay, time to take this outside. <laughs> what else are you supposed to tell say? Might as well just take this outside. He struck first. <laughs> what else are you supposed to tell me? He technically struck first. You can fight back now. <laughs> It says nothing. Move aside. It's not. It's not something you should be co concerned about. And move aside. And this is where it gets a little bit more intriguing. Vaguely. <laughs> After a short pause, she takes a tiny step back. The moment my father's gaze passes on to her. Is it because of that robot? His voice is quivering with rage. Okay, both sides are uh, pouring oil on the fire, so I already know where this is going to be going. <laughs> Nothing good is ever going to happen from this. It must be. Ever since you brought that thing home, you began to turn strange. You used to be a good boy who would never talk back to his father. Well, times change. What are you gonna do when you start shitting in your cereal when you're like, what, 102? <laughs> you can't stop him now! You're eating that shit. <laughs> Someone who ne would never stab, stare at his father with such hatred in his eyes. Well, when you fight fire with fire and pour gasoline on it, it is never going to turn out good. I don't want to know why. All of this is of is that robot fault. And I know it's going to go even further down the rabbit hole of pouring oil on gasoline. And then still uh, and setting it on fire. <laughs> That robot is tearing your fart from the inside. 
I, are we? Am I sure that this is, this guy is not turning into like a freaking Bond villain or some? Holy hell! What nonsense are you talking about? And this is gonna get worse. I open my mouth to protest, but I immediately swallow my words back down. I flinch after noticing my father's gaze. I think he's gonna hit the robot. <laughs> he had the look of a ma maniac who was about to do something horrible. And from there, we'll figure out what horrible thing he's gonna do next episode. So, I hope all you guys have a great, well, wonderful time, and hopefully this uh, freaking asshole gets what deserves of him next episode. So, I'll see you guys next time, eh? Well, that's pretty much it. I hope all you guys have a great, wonderful day on top of that. See you guys next time.